How's it going, everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here hanging with Joey Belladonna. Nice. Lead singer of Anthrax. What's going on, right on man? Good afternoon. I just got to hang out and talk with Charlie Bonanta, your drummer. And you guys are here for a few days uh, doing a workshop and just hanging out in the studios. And it's just a pleasure to have you here. So thanks so much. You're welcome. Man. Thank you. Where did you guys come from before you came here? You just got off the road, I hear, right? Well, we just did a one-off in uh, Chicago. Okay. Uh, we did the uh, Raya Fest. I actually did the anthem over at the White Sox a couple of days before. How was that? That was fun, yeah. You ever sang an anthem in, in a oh, big yeah. stadium before? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I do Seattle Seahawks this week. Do you really? In, against Orleans in Seattle. Very cool. Yeah, I've done Minnesota, did a couple of Bulls, a couple of Cubs. Nice. Syracuse basketball. Yeah, I've done it quite a few. It's fun. I did one. I was on the road with Cirque du Soleil, and we had our show at, on the, in the parking lot of Shea Stadium. Mm -hmm. And they had me come over and sing uh, the national anthem at Shea Stadium, which was a... Yeah, for, it was, I'd never done it like that before, but to hear your voice echoing off the all stadium over the place, all yeah. over the place is a weird experience to, for the first time. Yeah, yeah. But then when you get to the end of the song and you just hear the, just your voice expanding through yeah. the whole place, it's a blast. It's so quiet, too, yeah. once you... Okay, and now, dead silent. Nice. So do you know exactly where to start the song in just the perfect note? So not necessarily. <laughs> there is no key. <laughs> right. But I know enough not to start stupid high. Right. So you get not that, that I couldn't probably do it, but it's I don't want to get into that. That's funny. no. You got to be real careful. Yeah. Very cool. So man, you've been doing you've been singing for Anthrax off and on for quite a long time. Yeah, I, I joined them in '85 and and '85. Right. And again, I don't even know what the, what this was all about. I had never heard of them. Never right. heard this music before. Here I am. But you've had a long career now. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Yeah. And you still loving it? You still loving going on stage and oh, doing yeah, your thing? Oh yeah, I do. I do enjoy it. I, I give all I got. You know. Well, I definitely can see that. Cause There's I no plan. No. It's just yeah. I go out and and it's just like, I feel like I'm just having a lot of fun. Right. And yet, our music is so intricate enough you can't mess around and not pay attention. Right. But at the same time, I like to be loose as I can, and have fun and not think about anything. Just. Sure. Just do it. Well, cool. Well, you're leading me right into what we're really here to talk about is, is, is singing. Now, you sing, from what I could tell, you sing pretty hard every night. I mean, you really go for it, and you've been singing for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, how has your voice held up over all well, I've years? just worked. I've worked at it enough where now I feel a lot stronger. I have a lot more ability right. for some reason. I'm, I'm doing it more often. I also, um, I just don't go into anything that kind of harms me in a, in a way, you know, like to sleep. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. You know, I don't mm -hmm. do any of that kind of stuff. Obviously, that may or may not hurt someone, but it sure doesn't help. So I don't do that kind of stuff. Sure. So that that certainly helps, you know, and that's great. do what I can. Yeah, you know, that's really. cool. I mean, uh, At this time in your career, do you warm up a lot before shows? I what never do you do? Warm up. You just kind of go for I it. I don't. I don't. I just don't. I mean, the only thing I could think of it would be a warm up, and it's not really intended to be a warm up. If I were to sit in the back of the bus and I threw out a, a foreigner song and started to sing along with it, right. I wouldn't have no reason to be doing that other than just because I want to sing along to it. Right. But I don't. Okay. So I just kind of go out and wing it. Now, when you're on stage with such a loud rockin' band, what do you, do you have, you, you have in-ears, yeah? No, for a long time we didn't. Okay. We, we were loud as hell, and, and sometimes so Wedges and side out. fills and oh, all that yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, the, the echo in the room, and right. it was a lot, a lot of chasing going on back in the day. Now, of course, you got the in-ears, it certainly helps. Sure. It's not everything, but it really kind of gives you that, that moment of, like, I know where I am. I can follow this, sure. but the mix has to be correct, you know? So what do you listen to when you're on, a, on, on at an anthrax gig? What are you hearing? I got the everything. You do? I don't, I just probably pull a little of cymbals. I don't need a lot of cymbals, the hi-hats, you know, all that kind of stuff. Sure. Definitely, you know, I need to know where Charlie's going on the toms. You know, the kicks and snare are just enough where I can I get the pulse. Sure. You got to have the guitar. I split, I split the leads on the right. Scott is a little bit more in the center. So, I, you know, I got the key. Right. No bass, just a tiny bit of backups, you know, just so right. I know what they're doing, so we're in, sure. we're in time. And that's it? Yeah, that's pretty much Okay, and, and, and do you have any wedges or any kind of live speakers on stage with you as well? We do have wedges. Okay. We, we tool with not having them Super full loud. blast, right. like as if, if needed. Right. It might be a, a feel thing, but I don't even really, I'm not conscious of them being on or off, right. I don't think. Um, of course, my mic's hot, so wherever I'm going, it's going with I'm you. getting all kinds of uh, ambience, sure. you know, which is 
sometimes good, sometimes not, especially at a small club because sure. Charlie would be right behind me. Right. And it's like, you know, so you got the subs going and it's a lot, you know. So a couple of wacky questions here, but since you're, you guys tour a lot, you do a lot of gigs, so what is your pre-gig sort of, you're not with, not warming up vocally, but what's your pre-gig thing? Nothing. Just roam around the place. You know, kinda... you get there early and whether you're just sitting on the bus doing nothing right. or having coffee going to get the catering and then right. just I wander around all right. over the place. I'm talking with people like maybe even badgering people in a sense. We're like, <laughs> all right, all right. You know, but I'm just constantly picking at everybody. Okay. And it's just fun to do that. Um, I don't really have anything going on special. Okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, again, getting some rest is a a big thing. If I can get rest, I think it's important. Yeah. Because I don't like to stay up too late and just talk about stuff that I can talk to you about tomorrow. And it's like, <laughs> why am I sitting here? You're right. not even listening to me. The right. music's too loud in the bus. I'm going to bed. Right. You know, party pooper kind of. Well, but that's what works for you. Yeah. I mean, you've had a long career, and it's. But I could it, talk for hours, but yeah. I, I don't. I shouldn't be. And so you got. I know the whole band is is uses Shure microphones, so. What do you use? You have a wireless 58? What do you use yeah, on stage? Yeah, the 58. It looks like the, the your normal top yeah. top of the line 58 beta. Right. With the blue strip sure. or whatever. Then we need a little updates. It'd be nice to get, like, if there's anything new that we haven't updated. Right. Because we've been using the same stuff for a little bit now, but it's all sure. That's fine. You get, that gets the sound that you want to get, obviously. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's been great for me. I don't really need to switch. I mean, I haven't really tried to experiment with anything. We've had sure, we've been working with them. It's been super good. That's awesome. The wireless pack, you know, for the for the ears, you know, we got the whole system with that. Sure, that seems to be great. We got some nice, nice buds, you right. know, eight drivers in each ear. Very good. Plenty of plenty of speaker. Right. To go around. Nice. So then, what do you do when Anthrax is not working? You still doing singing and gigs yeah, and other stuff? I got a three-piece tri uh, trio that we do all classic rock. We do four hours straight. Do you really? I sing and play the whole night. Well, you're a drummer as well. Yeah. I don't know if you all knew that, but yeah, I play drums. He plays I, drums, yeah. I don't, I don't make a big deal out of it, but I kind of like to stay low under the radar and just So are you playing drums and singing on these gigs? All night long. Oh, so you, okay. Yeah, we do about 60 songs a night. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 there's no set list. You just go. Just pulling stuff out of the hat. That's it just kind of fun. keeps the blood flowing for you. It just I kind of keeps love the, it. I get to, the inspiration. I get to actually play drums again, which I don't. I haven't played since I left the band, basically. Right. right. And to do other music and yeah. do a little melodic type of stuff that I love. Sure. You know, and just be able to get out. Yeah. And just play. You know, right. it's just that certain thing you know that you get when you play. Sure. You know, driving in the car with the equipment, unloading it, setting it up, and then okay. We just start up, no banner, just play, 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 and then go home, put it back in the car and go home. Ah. You know? And these guys wouldn't do that. Right. There's no way. Right. They wouldn't even walk at some of these bars. They but, really wouldn't. And this is all in, in your hometown, kind of where you live? Yeah, living, or 45 just hour. Yeah. And then again, we went to Long Island last week, drove six hours, no gear, just get up there and go, you can use my kit. You know, get up there and they're like, okay, it's... You know, do a little adjustments and they start going at it. It's like, holy cow, you'll miss something because it isn't where you had it. But it's cool. It's fun. That's awesome. So what kind of what kind of music are you playing in this band? What do you... Because we well, were talking about it before the interview started. You, you listen to all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, Rush, right? Journey, Bad Company, Led yeah. Zeppelin, Stones, ZZ Top, Hendrix, Pink Floyd. The whole gamut. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. You know, it's, it's a full, full slot of that type of music. Sure. Yeah, and... That's good. Not many deep, deep cuts, but popular songs. Sure. But enough where, you know, hit a Triumph song or some Purple. You know, maybe they, people can't dance to it, but it's cool tunes because a lot of people just sit around and just listen. Yeah. So it's okay, you know. But I can't do that with it. I can't do that with this. This is, this is an hour and a half, 45 or an hour. And I'm half time, you know, bantering with the crowd during sure. the song, after the song. You yeah. know, a lot of that stuff. It's a big rock show. Oh, it's big, yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, and it's moving. Yeah. You know, I'm beat, more beat than I, in four hours, than, you know, other than my butt sitting for right. four hours. <laughs> I literally don't get up. I don't do, I just well, sit I know how you for feel. four hours, I still man. do lots of gigs around town all the time, too. So yeah, I don't, probably don't have the best throne in the world, you know? Right. <laughs> well, we know some people here. Maybe we, yeah, get, right. maybe we get you <laughs> a good <laughs> throne before you take off. Throne, yeah. Very cool, man. Well, I basically want to talk about how you sing. You know, and you've been singing a long time, and 
a lot of times singers who sing for as long as you have, you know, it's it's uh, it's tough on your vocal cords to sing that hard. And but you've been you've been able to keep it together for this many years, and you're still going strong. And that's yeah, awesome. we're in the right key too. Yeah, we're we're on 440 when it comes to the old stuff. Right. I mean, I love it. Yeah, you well, know? you're not dropping tunes down a step or anything. Like they, that. Yeah. When I came back in a band, and we were doing it, and I wasn't even thinking about it because I'm just kind of following what they're doing. Right. And one day, it wasn't too long ago, last last year, I said. Why are you guys tuned down? He goes, is there a reason? Because it's one of the heavy. He goes, no, the other guy couldn't sing it. I'm like, can't we just go back up that original key? It sounds good. Nobody's in that tuning these days. Right. Everybody's just so Dropping low. Stuff, right. Would it be a whole or even a half step? We're right on the 440, and it just sounds so good, man. That's great. Right? Yeah. You Do know? you prefer live over the studio in general? Well, maybe. Because live uh, studio, there's a lot, like when we do new albums, I don't even know the stuff that's thrown in my lap right. with lyrics, and I just go in and go at it. Right. But yet, you still got to do a presentation for them, and I got to live up to something, and I don't even know what I'm going to do. Right. So yeah, there's a lot more expectation there. Live, it's just, I got it. You yeah. good? I'm ready. You yeah, go. let's go rock. And the studio... But I love the studio. The studio's a cool creation. It's a really, I love being at the whole atmosphere. It's so fun. And to listen back like that day going, I didn't even know what the song was and that's what it sounds like today? Holy cow. And I'm like a fan listening to the song that I didn't even know. Right. When I first sang with these guys, I first, first finally heard myself sing. And I go, that's my voice? That's what I sound like? Okay. Wow. Then there you go. Right. Because I never, we really never, I never really recorded so much before I joined these guys. You know, I sang cover songs and fooled around on stuff, but I really didn't know what I was going to sound like. Right. So now. So you got to grow with the band. Sure, yeah. yeah. And it's kept, it was into it so much, but yeah, yeah I had no idea what I'd expect with this group. Because I never heard the music. Right. I mean, I don't even know, is this what I want to do? Is this, I don't want to join these guys. It's a lot, it's interesting when people get in bands, how focused they, they tend to give up quick. Sometimes you gotta let us. You gotta let us let us see it through. Right. Well, thanks again. You're welcome. I really Thank appreciate you right having on, you. Man. And we'll do it again. Hope sometime soon. I hope. Sure. Well, it's a pleasure. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody.